Recently, I had a couple of people comment on my YouTube channel that they didn't believe that FIO players and other music players would not resample digital audio on the USB output. Now, that's something I, I talked about. Now, let's just go through the issue here. The issue is that stock Android will resample, say if you have a high-res file, let's say 24-bit and 192 kilohertz, it will resample it down to 48 kilohertz. Now, FIO, Hybe, Kyin and other makers have modified Android so that this does not happen. They have bypassed the sample rate converter. And it's very specifically mentioned in the uh, manuals for FIO players and on their, on their website all over the place. And this is a FIO M11S which I recently unboxed and where the comments were made. So I thought, well, I'm going to set out to prove that, well, the, the question tends to be, is the output bit perfect? Now that requires two different things. The first is that it requires there's no sample rate conversion. But the second requires that there's no digital volume applied. Now today I'm not going to talk about digital volume because if digital volume is applied and you're using the USB output, then the output will not be bit perfect. So the volume has to be, if there's a digital volume involved, has to be set at 100%. But that's for, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to talk about digital volume. We're only going to talk about sample rate conversion. Now, I readily proved that the output of Cobars and Apple Music and the FIO app were not sample rate converted. And I did this by connecting the USB to a topping D90 DAC. And I played various files through different apps, which were above 48 kilohertz. And each of them, you can see in both the screenshot with these on the screen of the FIO M11S and of the Topping D90, the sample rate was the same. So the person who told me I should I need to go back to school was very wrong, and I proved that as much. But an interesting question came up when I showed the proof online, and that is the output of the headphone jack bit perfect. Now that's an irrational question because the output of the headphone jack is actually analog. So if you have headphones plugged in, it's already been converted to analog. And the you know the, the question is kind of irrelevant, but the, the person obviously wanted to know. I understood what the question really meant, which is they wanted to know: is the music before being converted back to analog? Is it being sample rate converted to 1648 or whatever Android does? Now you presume that if they, the USB output is correct, that the output or you know the output into the DAC internal DAC or digital to analog converter is also correct. So normally I wouldn't bother testing it, but I thought it'd be an interesting challenge to see if I could prove that it was not being converted. So this is why my voice sounds so terrible today as I have to use my microphone preamp as the device for testing with. So let's jump over to the computer and you'll see what I did. Now, we know that the limit to the frequency of a you know 48 kilohertz is 24 kilohertz, so half the sample rate in a PCM file. So the idea was to create a couple of test tones that had a higher frequency in them than well 48 kil well 24 kilohertz and by doing so that would show there's no sample rate conversion going on so I've, here I've created two 192 kilohertz files but they only contain single test tones and the first one is at 30 kilohertz it's a minus 0 dB test tone so full output and if you want to see the spectrum you can see that there it is you near know, a straight up 30 kilohertz test tone the second thing I created was a 60 kilohertz test tone. And if we pull down the spectrum of that, we will see indeed it's just a single 60 kilohertz test tone. It actually does go up to minus zero dB. It's just the window doesn't show it too clearly. Now, what I'm going to do is essentially is I created those as files and loaded them onto the M11S. And now I've plugged the line out, which is we has at uh, maximum volume and in line out mode into the Sentence mixer face which into the line input and that's connected via USB to my computer and is the input for Audacity. So basically I'm just going to play the files while recording. So let's jump over to our recording window. I'm going to hit record on Audacity and then hit play and see what comes out. And the answer is a slightly low test tone but one all the same. Now this has to you have to account for the fact that the mixer face may indeed be well adjusting things here so when we actually look at the spectrum if I hit pause on that on the player and hit stop that the mixer face will have its own digital filtering going on so it won't come through perfectly so you should not consider what you're about to see a reflection of the actual player itself there is going to be some noise here because you're going through an analog output 
and then back into the analog input of another device. So there'll be some, and some digital filtering going on is gonna make this a little bit imperfect. But there we go, there's our 30 kilohertz test tone and ignoring actually pretty reasonably low noise here, although not perfect, but there we go, it's come through. So we know that it has not been resampled. So now we're gonna do the 60 kilohertz test tone. So let's just nuke all of that and start again. So now we need to go back to our player and we're just gonna hit the 60 kilohertz one and hit record and see what comes out. And we can see indeed the 60 kilohertz test tone has come out, ignore the slightly odd levels and stuff like that. That's obviously the mixer face and there's a bit of glitchiness in there, but we don't care. It was not for the sake of um, this test purpose. When you're going through analog equipment, you are losing fidelity and that's just inevitable because that's how things are. But if we go into our analysis, plot the spectrum, there we go. There's our 60 kilohertz test tone come through in all its glory with some other, oh, actually the higher one has had less noise maybe, but oh well. Interesting all the same, but there we have it. The FIO M11S has passed through its own digital to analog converter and amp high res audio. So that thoroughly debunks any concern that at least the FIO M11S with the current version one firmware does any resampling because it doesn't. Now for absolute bit perfect output, well, yeah, but anyway, that's a little another issue altogether. But we know that essentially, if you, I, because I've shown, if you do have something like Cobuzz or whatever, you probably, now I can't obviously load test tones into Cobuzz to output, which are 30 kilohertz or 60 kilohertz. If you do know of any, please let me know and let me know the album name and details and I'll play them back. Um, I'm not really up for doing what Golden One did and, and submitting my own test tones as, a, as, a, as an album, although I could, I know there are test tone albums on there, but they are within the audible range. Now, but if, um, well, if someone does, let me know and I will test other apps such as Apple Music and Cobars and uh, see if they will play back frequency tones which are above 24 kilohertz and prove that there's no sample rate conversion going on. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. And of course, always thank you to everyone who has been supporting this channel. If you do would like my help and advice or would like to join in or you know support what I do, please consider becoming a supporter. Click on one of the links on screen. You can buy me a coffee or use Patreon, or there's, you can just even just contact me and I'll send you a PayPal link. And that will help helps make these videos possible. So as always, thanks once again for watching and I'll see you online.